Hey guys, Dr. Haywood here. Um, this week we're up at the National Wildlife Refuge in Jackson and there's a bunch of uh, <coughs> bighorn sheep that have come down. So, yeah. get some footage of them. comes another one maybe they'll bonk heads and do some fighting see what happens You can see them kind of scattered out there. And they're all along the roadway here at the refuge. Go down here a little further and see if we can see some other sheep. Um, it's pretty cool. You just pull in here up behind the refuge. This is the refuge road. You're on the refuge, but um, it's just outside of Jackson. Jackson Hole's right there, so it's pretty cool. The wildlife museum that I took you to, the Museum of Art, is over this ridge right here on the other side of the road there in the, the valley. So. In the winter, these bighorn sheep pull down in here and they'll come up. Sometimes at school, they'll come up and lick the salt off your cars. And you can see their little tongue marks all over your car. It's pretty interesting. None of the rams are aggressive at all.
Pretty interesting. He was licking my car, looking for salt. They haven't really thrown a lot of salt because we haven't much, haven't had much snow, so we couldn't really find a whole lot. But sometimes they'll just stand there and just lick your car for as long as you sit there. So. All right, I'll probably have to come back and do some more filming because I only got about five minutes here. But there's not as many sheep as we normally see. So once their horns grow big and thick and they start to broom and they have those rings and they start to curl around, you know that's a big mature male. And sometimes when they're rutting, <coughs> um, when it's breeding season, they'll actually come out and, and start knocking heads and fighting with each other and doing some cool stuff. We saw a couple back there that one was kind of interested in fighting, but the other one wasn't. And so we didn't really do anything. You can t the scientists can tell how old they are by counting the the rings on their <coughs> on their horns as they grow each year. They just they keep keep adding on. So. Big mature male out there. They say they're really really big when it curls around. I think past the eye again. So if it's if it if the curl ends here or here. They're still a pretty mature ram, but it starts to curl past the eye. Here comes another one down the trail. Maybe we'll see if they if they want to fight at all. We'll see. It's another bigger male. We'll see what happens. So here comes ones running down the trail. Well, I guess they're not going to fight. <laughs> it's kind of hoping they were going to butt heads. But the one came running up and the other one kind of stiffened up and put his head up. But I guess they're not in the mood to fight right now. You can see the scarring on their horns, the chips and the dents from butting each other. You probably can't see it on the camera because my camera's not that good. But. Anyway, I was up here this morning hunting elk just past the refuge and on our way back through all the bighorn were out so we decided to stop. That's why I'm wearing camouflage and my warm coat over. It's a beautiful place to see a lot of wildlife, antelope, sometimes deer, a lot of elk, um, ducks and geese, uh, bighorn sheep. Cool place to come visit. So thanks for coming with me on this field trip. I'll probably zoom in on them one more time and then we'll bring it to a close.
and the other eyes are all rolled back in their head when they're walking out that side. He wants to lick my car. There's a bunch of cars behind me. A whole bunch of babies in there. So there's the town of Jackson, um, and this is the National Wildlife Refuge. I'm going to kind of plug this little bit into all this uh, um, bighorn sheep field trip. Um, but the refuge spreads out this way and goes miles and miles up that way. But this was the first place they purchased to start creating the refuge, the Miller House. So you can see the house down there. You can come go on tours of this during the summer. There's some pond water down there and some creeks out all through there with ducks and geese on it. But Jackson Hole is right there. They actually just last weekend had a big snowmobile uh, like a world championships where they race up those ski slopes. I don't know if you can see them. So they race snowmobiles up those ski slopes and it's a big competition. But I thought those bighorn sheep might keep coming down the road, but it looks like they turned around and went back the other way. But you drive into the refuge on this road and you can see cool places if it's summertime, like the Miller House, but then in the fall and winter, you can see all this cool wildlife. Um, it's a great place, really pretty. All right, 